What is the jammies? So the jammies about these pre-teens enrolled at a performing arts school and come together and form a hip hop and R&B group hoping to become famous. Now that we got that out of the way, but before I say anything about the show, I'm gonna say where you can stream it if you wanna check it out for yourselves. Cause you like this show. So it's available on Tubi. So the cost is free. Tubi is completely free, for real. You don't have to pay for anything, it's completely free. You'd have to make an account, but it's completely free though, so you can sign up without having a lot of money, so it's on this other streaming service. I forgot the name of it, but th that one's also free, so it's also you can watch the episodes on YouTube for free. So first off, we're gonna talk about the company who made it. So I found the company who made this. The company is called Toon Farm Animation. Hold on guys, let me look into this company because I don't know anything about this company. All I know is that they made this show. Let's talk about the animation. So the animation, the CGI animation, is actually pretty good even though this is a very obscure show. I mean, this is animation, the animation is so fluid and animation is so good. And this is a obscure show. A obscure show. You never expect this high quality animation from a obscure show. This is very amazing. The animation company, they got a really good one though. Not gonna lie. So next, we're going on to the characters. So the characters, they're pretty good, but the characters are obviously ah, stereotyped. For example, the fat kid, he's a stereotype because they show him eating. It's a, a stereotype. The characters are all stereotypes. The, the, that one kid that was only in that one episode because he left the jammies, he was a stereotype. As well. Because in the episode, they, they show his singing is so bad that it literally breaks their treehouse. There's so much stereotypes in the show, like, God, it's so unbelievable. <laughs> oh, yeah. The characters are all stereotypes. That's all I have to say. But the characters are good. But they're, they're stereotypes. I don't want to ramble on about this. Because I already rambled on too much about the animation is good. So I'm just going to qu quit talking about it right now. Before I get into the other stuff, there's a flaws with the releasing of the show on media because the show is really bad when it comes to its releases. Cause they have the show hasn't been all the episodes haven't been released anywhere. Just the first five episodes have been public online. Cause the show used to be on Netflix, but they got rid of it so cause nobody wanted it. And so it just became faded out of nowhere and all the stuff of the jammies online, it's all from five years ago from when the show before they took it off of Netflix because there's not any new stuff about the show and it's honestly sad because there's literally parents online who've made reviews of the show and in them they've literally said that they're trying to find the other episodes and their kid really likes and their kids like the show and I like the show as well and we, they're, they're saying that 
they're looking for the other episodes. They're saying, where can you get it? Because... We knew to, though, because this show is such a good show. Like, come on, why is the only, why are only five of the episodes on there? I've seen all the episodes, and it turns out that there's, like, m a lot more episodes than you expected because they don't have it released anymore. Found out about this because of Wikipedia, because Wikipedia lists the episodes that aren't available anywhere. Because of their bad service in terms of releasing of the show. And the streaming services that the show is on currently, they don't have it anywhere. And this is so bad. It's gotten to the point where the reviews for the show on Prime Video say that where can they get it. And not, and not even Prime. This show is also on Prime Video. And not even Prime Video has it. Freaking Prime Video. Prime Video doesn't have it either. It's literally freaking Amazon Prime, a big company. They don't even have all the episodes. And there's this DVD of the show of all the episodes. And you can't get it anywhere, for real. There's only this picture of it. That's because the show has faded in it. It's into such obscurity. This video needs to get seen more. This show needs to get recognized again because this show just faded into this obscurity. So now we don't have the rest of the episodes anymore. And I'm going to go on a hunt. I'm actually going to get the episodes found. I'm going to go on a lost media hunt and get the other episodes brought back. No matter what it takes, even if... A moment, I feel like I can't do it anymore. I'm still gonna do it, no matter what. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, guys. No matter what. Yes, I'm gonna do it. This shows that there's but such a bad service when it comes to releasing of the show. It's honestly sad because the show is just. It's a real- This show is such a hidden gem. No more people need to find it out. My dad likes the show even. I've showed the- I've even showed the show to my grandma. And grandpa. And grandma and grandpa like the show as well. You know my family members still like the show also. And this video is- The purpose of this video is to get people's attention- and possibly even the company's attention who made this, but if you're watching this, uh, the company who made the show, please do not take it down just because it uses a uh, footage. This video is fair use because it's not a post of the any of the episodes. Even though this is using footage of episodes of the show because this is a review video and those videos are fair use because it's it's just a review of it like this voiceover of the show it's the show the footage is turned all the way down and this voiceover and sometimes they even have music like and sometimes i don't know if any reviewers uh use gameplay footage but i think that's just commentary youtubers and uh a lot of the and also the those clickbait top 10 channels, those type of top 10 channels that literally threaten the viewers to subscribe or a spider will crawl on their face. Yeah. This top 10 channel I watched, now they're doing that, but for a long time they never used to do that. Now I'm not watching their content anymore because I feel because like, they've turned into those channels already. Just look at the thumbnail. And, but their thumbnails of their videos have always been clickbaity, just to get people's attention. We need good top 10 channels, because a lot of top 10 channels suck. Yeah, I'm getting off topic, but I just had to give that fair use warning. And so I don't get copyrighted. I'll have a copyright disclaimer. That's for one minute, so they don't strike my video. Oh, or claim it, or take it down, because... It is fair use. So, YouTube, if 
you're listening, screw you. I might even threaten you, but I'm not gonna. So please note that these are fair use. I'm just using footage over. I'm just using the footage of it. And it doesn't even have the audio on it. And it's a voiceover. Oh my god. Yeah, I got really mad there. Because I was. Because this is to get YouTube's attention. So they don't block this video, cause the review videos I've done, they've copyrighted claim it because I didn't have a copyright disclaimer. So I got cut off there. My mom, they were checking on me, cause yeah, they probably thought I was going crazy and breaking the house and stuff, but no, I'm just recording a video. Yeah. You'll expect this yelling, cause I'm gonna exaggerate my videos, just for the, uh, just for the reviews of bad movies, cause, uh, yeah, my re now my reviews are S Saber Spark style. I'm trying to do his style. I'm trying to learn it actually, and I've nailed it down pretty good. I will though. I will, though, actually nail it down with those reviews on bad movies, though. Because I like Saber Spark and his content. So, sorry if I didn't cover the other things, because... I already, already talked about them. And, yeah. If this review wasn't that good... I don't know why would you say that, because uh, this review is actually pretty good. So... It's me, SpongeBob, Crazy Fan 8906, signing out.